Welcome to the Forte Web training video series. This video is going to cover the spans and supports tab. So the next tab as we go along sizing our member is spans and supports. So I'm going to bring that plan back up that we spoke about a minute ago. So we have our two foot cantilever and a 16 foot span and it looks like that goes to the center of a beam. We're gonna, I'm going to assume that's a two ply beam, a two ply micro lamb, or maybe a single ply, but it's going to be three and a half inches wide. So we're going to go ahead and input that bearing and span information so that it's reflected properly in our, our member report and our calc. So for this part, you probably want to show the member graphic. It's just an easy way to check your inputs. So the first bit of information we have here is the uh, radio buttons for clear span, out to out, and custom. More often than not, I find myself adjusting where these uh, dimensions are measuring to. So I like to have my radio button set to custom. And we can see the left overhang is two foot and we just put in the information uh, that we have on our plan and you'll see the graphic update above. Again we have the save as default button so I'd recommend that change the radio button to custom and hit save as default that's just my preference. Okay so support number one uh, looks like we were bearing on a two by six plate so I can put in five and a half inches left and bottom. Now this dimension location, this is an indication of where that dimension line measures to. Left, bottom, and this is on a, a foundation wall, so we're going to have some plate on concrete. You're going to want to set this uh, for whatever's appropriate for the member that you're sizing. And that is going to make a difference, especially with flush beams, as to um, your bearing length and critical reaction calculations. So you're going to set the whatever type of plate you're bearing on. I'm going to go ahead and say Southern Pine. Um, again, this makes a difference in your reaction calculations and bearing length. So make sure you're accurate with that. And then whatever accessory you have there. And then you repeat the process for the second support. Now on this side, uh, we did say it was going to be a three and a half inch beam, but our dimension line is going to go to the center and our connection, we can choose either top or face mount hanger. I'm going to go ahead and choose a face mount hanger. And then you can choose if you're hanging into a beam or ledger or TJI. But you want to be, again, accurate because when Forte figures out your hanger connections, your hanger solutions, this is going to help it determine the geometry that's going on. And we have different uh, nail withdrawal capacities for different beam type so you want to make sure that you're accurate here as well. Um, let's say I'm going to choose I'm going to choose a paralam this time. So a paralam beam three and a half inches wide and now for your connectors in this options here if you have a skew or concealed flange you have options to uh, indicate that here and that will go into your hanger design when we get to the end. So you want to make sure that you're accurate as possible again. Um, also, if your beam that you're hanging into is not the same depth as the eye joist, you can go ahead and put that here. So let's say we're hanging, I don't know, into a 14 inch beam or something of that nature. You could indicate that here. And also the number of plies that you're hanging into. So I am using a parallel beam, so I'm going to choose a single ply. If I was using a micro lamb, for example, that's inch and three quarters wide, uh, I could choose two plies for whatever I'm hanging into. So give it as much information as possible so that it can come up with a accurate and correct hanger solution for you when you get to the end. Now if you had multiple spans, you would just input those and update the information below as appropriate until your graphic up top looks correct for whatever you're trying to size. And if you need to delete any of these spans, you can use the little trash can here. And now we're ready to continue on to the, the rest of the tabs in sizing our TJI joist.